Welcome, this is the Flight Zoomer version 2 release video. Flight Zoomer version 2 has been released some weeks ago now and is available for free for anybody interested. In this video I will present you uh, the new feature on this nice and cheap 6 inch ground station here. Probably this phone is the, one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest 6 inch um, smartphone on the market and it's really nice for this uh, ground station. One of the cool new features for training purposes is the autopilot simulation mode and it comes in handy also for this demonstration and so I will show and use it in this video. The simulation mode allows me to run the ground station as standalone unit that simulates the entire processing chain. The simulation covers the communication with the relay server, the onboard sensor device, the flight controller and even the actual physics of a multi-copter. To start the ground station in simulation mode, I have to check this checkbox here before entering the cockpit. I need to confirm that I'm uh, I do want to use the ground station in simulation mode and then I'm here. At this point let me give a short summary about the mission statement for FlightZoomer. FlightZoomer is a smartphone based system that basically zooms into a flight. The flight of an RC aircraft I have to add and um, I zoom into that flight from remotely via 3G or 4G networks, also, also, also edge networks work. This means that I have a ground station here with instruments like a, in a real cockpit. Here is the primary display and here the navigation display. The extent of displayed information really tops any other telemetry system that I'm aware of. And there is even more. Not only do I receive information from the airborne vehicle that I display here, with version 2 I now also can control the flight path of my aircraft using the Flight Zoomer Autopilot. In terms of supported modes, the Flight Zoomer Autopilot probably is the most sophisticated aut autopilot out there for RC aircraft. In fact, if you would compare it with the autopilot of a real Boeing 787 Dreamliner, you would see that there is not much missing. For a moment, let's compare and see how you would control the flight modes with traditional RC equipment. You would have such an RC transmitter like this one here and these switches. And this mode, for example, is configured to have here the land mode return to launch, position hold. You have to memorize a lot. Feedback happens only by looking at the reaction of the aircraft. So all in all, this is very low tech and limited. That also, and maybe a small remark, this is my uh, ground station with the smartphone. I basically grab this transmitter and in one hand and the uh, copter in the other hand and there I go, flying. No need for any more material. So then when we look at the flight zoomer autopilot, then we have this nice mode control panel. You have one button per mode and each button shows a red shade for a moment until a command has been confirmed from the aircraft back to the ground. So I do really know what um, has been received by the autopilot. I switch it on. Now as the simulation mode is on, the reaction is very very quick, so the red shade was not really visible. Um, active modes are visible or shown with illuminated buttons and you can select the target speed, direction means track over ground or heading, altitude and vertical speed or flight path angle 
and so you really see this touchscreen offers um, fantastic user experience that as far as I know no other system on the market comes close um, the autopilot is really the main version 2 feature so let's quickly recap the autopilot modes first there is a number of basic autopilot modes with these the flight path can be controlled both laterally and vertically among these we have the speed mode and I am now activating any of these I arm or at set a target speed of 5 speed 5 checked then we have the direction I can set any direction I want I might turn to 30 degrees 30 I can switch to heading hold instead of track over ground switch to heading mode then I can also change the turn rate I now changed to the slowest turn rate that exists so I can set a new target direction let's pick 150 degrees heading 150 checked so here I go next would be target altitude I can set 500 for example altitude 500. and now the altitude it is only armed that means I need to use one of the vertical speed modes to reach this armed altitude this could be vertical speed vertical speed 151 checked alternatively the flight path angle or the flight level change mode flight level change mode um, always just um, moves the vehicle vertically towards the armed altitude with a fixed or constant um, vertical rate I'm now reaching the armed altitude 500 there we are so these have been the basic autopilot modes additionally there are also flight plan modes these require a flight plan to be loaded or defined so let's switch to the flight management system to create quickly one I go to the root page at an origin airport origin copy the same one as destination I add a cruise speed and a cruise altitude go to the next page to add some waypoints I can add any number of waypoints now I can then activate the route or the, the flight plan using the exec button go back to the uh, mode control panel of the autopilot and then activate the LNAV mode it will turn towards the first waypoint which is NS1 and it has set the speed to 10 as it was defined and I can now also activate the WNAV mode that means the vertical profile of the planned route is now also flown if I zoom out I see here then the top of descent point that's the point after this one will be reached uh, the descent will be initiated towards the destination the last class of autopilot modes are the radio navigation modes which allow to follow a particular radial of a tuned VOR or even to follow the glide slope of an ILS receiver I will demonstrate the ILS approach later um, but I do go to the flight management system NAVRAD page in order to tune to an ILS like that and go back to here so beside the autopilot mode a number of other new features have been introduced um, there is a new camera control panel 
where I can activate video recording and or um, uh, image series or stop again the camera. This um, feature is uh, controls the either the in the, the the camera of the onboard smartphone or even um, a Sony camera which is coupled via Wi-Fi, uh, also that is uh, attached to the control. Now um, we come to the latest new feature uh, that I want to introduce in this video, and this is the the air traffic control simulation. The lady who will talk is the air traffic controller. She will guide me or give me directions to um, a proper approach um, pattern that will uh, end up capturing the ILS and then I will land on the tuned ILS. I switch now from LNAV mode to the basic direction hold mode again. Um, you see, I also switch to altitude hold mode and I can now activate air traffic control. This is Flight Zoomer 1. Contact Street Cross City Approach. That's me. Flight Zoomer 1. This is Street Cross City Approach. Turn left 290 degrees. Expect vectors ILS runway 08. Roger. Turn left 290. Expect vectors ILS runway 08. Flight Zoomer 1. She gave me a new course. I speed up. Set the speed of 20 here. Speed 20 checked. So we will not lose so much time. I have to change the display mode to app to really get the indications of the ILS. Turn left 170. I was in the downwind now. Now I got the instruction to turn to the base. Here is the runway. I will approach to here. And that's the course. And that's the deviation indicator. Soon I will get the instruction to turn to an intersecting course um, that crosses roughly the direction to the runway in a with 40 degrees. You are cleared for ILS runway 08. Report when established. Roger, turn ref 110. Cleared ILS runway 08. Flight zoomer 1. This is 110, 0 degrees. Selected localizer armed. Now I'm turning already on the final course. I've captured the ILS now laterally. Here we see the, the deviation indicator vertically for the, of the glide slope. It will come down soon and if it's in the middle then we will start our descent. Fully now we are descending. I'm a bit fast now. Let me reduce speed to a reasonable speed for. Wish you a good evening. Roger, cleared to land. Runway zero eight. Flight zoomer one. Bye bye. Speed ten checked. At the runway threshold, it is configured to. Stop. Speed will go to zero because this is a multi-copter and it will stay in, stay in the air at this location. So the speed went to zero and now the flight is finished. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and bye bye.